I'm Mark Smith. We are installers of glacier pool coolers here in the Houston, Texas area. Uh, this happens to be one of my own home, and I wanted to explain some of the specifics uh, that affect this thing operating under the hot, humid, tropical weather we have. It's a little different than you might expect, and uh, some you get a, a lack of a lack of cooling at this time of year. Right now is uh, uh, late August. We've had close to 100 degree weather, uh, 85 percent so um, humidity. This is my pool. It's 85 degrees outdoors right now, about 10:30 in the morning, and my pool temperature 86.3. Makes you think the pool cooler is not running. Here's my pool cooler output. Doing 86.9. Well, this is what's happening. Because of our weather and our humidity, our dew point is high. Now, on the other hand, these pipes going up the wall my house is also cooled by this cooling tower so it's cooling my house and my swimming pool that's why I got larger than the average size for such a small pool but let's look at the physics behind this and what it takes to make this work by the way uh, I'm happy with it if you use it right it will cool your pool to a reasonable level at any time let me look at the weather though and that will explain some of the problems we have in the Gulf Coast region and this applies anywhere we have um, this tropical weather. And like I say, it's not year-round. It just happens from time to time. This was this morning at 8.39, I think it says. It was 80 degrees outside. My pool at the time was 82. And uh, what happens... Let me get this right. Oops. At that time... The dew point was 78. Uh, humidity is 89%. Well, dew point of 8, 78 means the coldest possible water come out of that thing is somewhere around 78. It, the, the temperature of the water has nothing to do with the outside air temperature as much as it does the dew point. So the best this thing would do, and at that point it was turning up like 82 degree water. Um, as of 10 minutes ago, it's 85. You see, it says feels like 99. Uh, what that's telling us is that our dew point is high. Uh, dew point, well, it's actually saying 77. Humidity is 75%. Because as the outside air temperature gets warmer, it can actually lower humidity. But the whole point is, typically my, uh, my temperature drop is going to be Anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees higher than humidity is what's going to be my output. If I turned off my air conditioner, it would probably drop down to about 80 right now. So it's capable of cooling the pool. Uh, as the day gets hotter and hotter, uh, it might get to where, even with it's running during the day, it won't cool the pool, but it won't let us get as hot as it would. Uh, typically, the pool's not going to get over 85, whereas uh, it would get in the full sun. 90, 92, which is uncomfortable. To me, 85 is comfortable. I'm perfectly happy with that. And like I say, the, the trick is to run these things at night. Uh, look for when your uh, uh, pool temperature, I mean, your dew point is lowest. Uh, a few days ago last week, this pool got down to 77 degrees in one morning. Uh, I run this pool cooler most of the time right now. Uh, I turn it off sometimes in the mornings. Uh, if my pool gets above 88, I'll turn it back on and it'll maintain that temperature until the evening and then start cooling down again. Like I say, this is strictly this area. If four hours north of us, three hours north of us in Dallas, your humidity is much lower and this thing can be putting out 65 degree water. Uh, and like I say, it's, it's not all the time, it just happens. Um, a couple months out of years, you really got to push these things to get them to keep your pool cool. But they will do it if you operate them properly. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, our company is Earth Power AC and Heat. We do install these locally in the Houston area. 
And uh, I just hope that answers some questions because we get this a lot from people, uh, even from other companies installing them. They call us up to ask why it's not working, and this is usually the usually the issue. Thank you.